Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. If you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. And I do apologize, Aquarius. I know the reading is coming out later than I would have liked. Um, I was actually in an accident last weekend. Um, no one was hurt, thank goodness. And I am very very grateful for my spirit team because it's very evident that my angels and my guides were there protecting me and the other person in the car and the other driver um based on what happened so i'm very very grateful for that but i was just resting reflecting getting everything sorted with that so i do apologize but thank you for your patience um but let's let's see how this person feels how does this person feel about aquarius okay so we have the Six of Pentacles. Jeez, strong energy. The Ten of Pentacles and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. There's someone here, and I'm seeing the lovers at the bottom there. Um, Aquarius, there's, there's someone here who wants long-term with you. There's someone here who wants to put in the work, put in the effort to make this work. Um, but at the same time, they're willing to take their time. They're willing to take it slow here with you. I feel like this person, it's interesting. It's like they, they want you to know that they're interested, but they also don't want to rush you at the same time here. I feel like this person um, is, how do I put that? I mean, money is important to all of us in some capacity, right? Like we just live in a world where money helps us do things. It helps us, you know, experience things, eat certain things, go certain places. Like, but I feel like financial stability and like being stable is very important to this person. And they're looking for someone to have that long term with. So their work might be very important to them. They might take their work very seriously. Um, or just like having financial stability is very important to this person. I don't feel like they're frugal, but I feel like this person doesn't spend unnecessarily. Um, but they're also generous. Like it's like they're, they're a good balance here with this temperance card, right? Like. They don't want to rush, but they want you to know they're interested. They don't spend too much, but they also don't mind being generous. Like it's like they have a good balance of these things. Um, they want long term. They want a relationship here with you with this Ten of Pentacles coming out. So it could be a Sagittarius or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, anything else for how this person feels? Seven of Cups, the Hierophant. This person wants a higher level of commitment with you. Could be a Taurus. They think you have options. So perhaps this is why they're like, I want you to know I'm interested here, Aquarius, but I'm also not trying to rush you because I'm not trying to scare you off. This person thinks you have options. This person thinks there's other people, there's other suitors, there's other, you know, you might be talking to other people. Maybe that's not even the case, but they just sort of assume, I feel like based on what you look like and based on what they see so far from you, they're like, there's gotta be other people interested in Aquarius. Um, 
but they want this higher level of commitment. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, the Fool. They're just gonna go for it. Even if they think you have other options or maybe you have been open and been like, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm dating, like I'm seeing what I'm, who I'm interested in and what have you. This person just wants to take the leap of faith. They just wanna go for it. This could be this other person having options right now, right? They're sort of dating around. They're sort of figuring out what they want. And then you come along and it's like they instant, you have two cards of long-term commitment, higher level of commitment here. So it's like this person is trying to do it in a balanced way where they don't they don't come on too strong, but they also want you to know they're very interested in you. They want to take this leap of faith. They want to just go for it. So we have Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Um, but if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean that they're not here. Yeah, there's a, there's someone here who definitely wants a relationship here with you. Commitment, exclusivity. So even if there are other options around, whether it's your end or their end or both, they're not interested in those other options. They're not interested in having them around, keeping them around. This is someone who wants commitment. Um, so let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? We have the Five of Cups, interesting. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords, now you're getting Eight, Eight, and the Six of Wands. Tell me about this Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. This could have been someone who um, maybe was not honest in the past about things, whether it was with you or other people. Or, or both, if you already know who this is. I feel like this person, there's a lot of regret here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Page of Pentacles. They could have... Okay, what I'm getting is very specific. but So only take it if it resonates. This could have been a situation where this person... I'm getting two stories. A, hid how they feel and said they just wanted to be your friend. They just, they just wanted friendship and that's it they didn't want anything more um but also they could have lied about someone else being just a friend when it was actually more than just a friend whether it was with you or someone else I just feel like this person looks back at their behavior and is like damn like why did I do that that was so immature that was so dumb that was not necessary like they're very aware um, I also feel like this person, you know, this regret that they feel or this sort of this like rumination that they go back into, like, sh I should have, I could have, I would have like, oh, they kind of beat themselves up. They don't talk about that. They hide that. They sort of come off like nothing bothers them. They're working on it for sure. This person, like the thing is about the eight of swords and I love that it, how it's depicted in the, the light seers deck is like, you don't know that there's all this chaos going on in this person's mind on the inside. Cause on the outside, they look pretty calm. They look like they've got everything figured out. They look like they're pretty chill. Everything seems okay. But on the inside their their mind is actually racing. They're thinking about a million things at once. It's like analysis paralysis. What if this, what if that, like kind of just going over things over and over and over again. So I feel like they do that with this situation with you, but also what they've done in the past. Like I said, like I just feel like their past really gets them down sometimes. Um, where is this Eight of Swords? I'm trying to find it to show you this picture. Probably, obviously I passed right by it, but yeah. So this person, you might catch it sometimes though, Aquarius, because I'm getting like, you might catch some sort of, like the, it's almost like nervousness a little bit. Um, or you just notice like something a little bit deeper might be going on and they try to hide it. So if you see this person on the outside looks in this eight of swords, um, maybe looks a little worried, but you can't really tell. And then look on the inside. It's like they actually feel trapped. They feel, you know, um, their mind is sort of taking over there. It's like a self-imposed prison a little bit. What is that about? Tell me about the eight of swords the four wands this this person it's so interesting it's like they want commitment with you but that also really scares them it really scares them yeah the queen of swords like this person wants to take it to the next level with you whatever that looks like um 
so I feel like there is going to be a conversation around that, that they are going to say, you know, if, if we're just talking, let's be exclusive. If we're already exclusive, let's like, you know, meet each other's family or go on a trip or move in or whatever it might be. I do feel like there's going to be a conversation, but the way this person comes across is like how they manage their, their thoughts and their sort of racing mind is they come off a little bit cold. They come off a little bit like, like, are they excited? Are they like happy about this? Or are they just like, this is the next logical step that we should take. Um, I do apologize that siren outside. So yeah, this, like they do want this commitment with you, but they just come off a little bit cold about it. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Anything else about that Queen of Swords? Like, what are they trying to say? Nine of Pentacles, you see? It's like this person want, and then the King of Swords, wow. It's like this, there might be some sort of like, how this person feels, they want you. They want commitment. They want you around, but they're very scared. Their mind tells them that there's a million things to worry about, about actually taking that next step and actually being in that commitment. So I feel like there could be some arguments here around, are we committed? Are we not? Are we in a relationship? Are we, is there a label on us? What are we? What are we not? Like there could be like sort of like this back and forth between the two of you with that King and Queen of Swords sort of like a standoff, right? Like it's almost like the conversation will be, um, yeah, we're together, but we don't need to put a label on it. And they'll be like, well, why can't we put a label on it? Well, because what does a label matter? Or, well, well, if it doesn't matter, why can't we do it? Well, why do we have to do it? And it's just like this, like, and so it might come across like this person's being sneaky or like they, they're trying to hide something. But in reality, it's just like, they're very nervous, it feels about the idea of commitment could be something to do with their reputation here with the six of wands. Like maybe they're known is just like not, you know, falling too hard or whatever it might be. I have to be honest with you. Like there is communication here and there's a, there's a desire for like stability um, and to have something solid with you, but there's no emotion coming out and there's not really a lot of passion either. So it feels like this person is like a little bit like, I just heard like dead inside. You know, like a cold fish. Like, it's kind of like, uh, like, it's like, yeah, okay, we're doing this. But, like, where's the passion? Where's the, like, super excitement if we do take that trip? Or, you, you know what I mean? Like, this person just comes off a little bit, like, monotone, very kind of blah. I don't know how else to say that. So, I definitely feel like there's a conversation coming in here about wanting to be together, but also it's like they're scared they're going to lose their independence if they put a label on it. If they say, okay, yes, we are exclusive, like now all of a sudden things change. And you might be sitting there, Aquarius, like, no, like things wouldn't really change. You know, we could still do our own thing, but for some reason that label like scares this person. Hmm. Anything else about their actions? The devil, the ten of wands, yeah, Capricorn energy. It just feels like, you know, this person kind of likes stress. And I know that sounds like a strange thing to say, but this person is kind of like addicted to stress or addicted to things being difficult. So if this is super easy or it could be super easy, it's almost like this person will make it more difficult on purpose. Anything else about that devil? Ten of swords. Now you're getting ten ten. It feels like this person could push you away. I'm not going to lie to you here, Aquarius. It feels like this person, like... Sorry, all these noises today in the reading. I do apologize, Aquarius. It feels like this person... Like, how they feel isn't matching up with their actions. How they feel is that they want you around. They don't want you to have other options out of all of their options. If they do have any, they see you and only you. But then when it comes to the commitment and it comes to actually, like, doing it, they they back off or they, like, get weirded out by it. And so it just feels like they they might even, like, end it. They might even, like, get it started again with you just to end it again. And they know they do this and they regret doing this, but they do it anyway. Is there anything else with that seven of swords? Let's just see. Let's just make sure. The fool. They're, they're, 
you see what I'm saying? And I see the seven of swords again at the bottom. It's like they want to take this leap of faith. They want to just go for it, which also came out in the in their feelings, but they're not telling you that. They're not they're not showing that. It's like they want to they want this standoff. They want it to be difficult. They want to make you think that they don't want this. Even though they do. Huh. Let's see their intentions. What is this person's intentions with Aquarius? Page of Pentacles. Let's just be friends. <laughs> Ace of Cups, but I have so many feelings for you. The Emperor, Aries energy, being stubborn. Yeah, I feel like this person's like reputation, whatever that looks like to them, or how they're known is very important to them. This person's very stubborn. I feel like it's like my way or the highway kind of deal. Even though they have all these feelings for you and there is a part of them that wants to explore where this could go and they do see them, like they could see themselves in a commitment with you. It's like they turn that off or they, they try to mask that. I feel like this person also likes attention. Tell me about that six of wands. The Seven of Pentacles, the Sun. This person likes attention. This person likes to be in the spotlight. It's like they kind of like to plant seeds in a bunch of different places. It's like they could have options. They could have people who are like, they're sort of flirting with like three or four or five different people. When it comes to you, they see you as the one they would commit to, but they don't actually want to do that right now. They like attention. They like, this could be the type of person where, and if you're single and you're dating, I guess you can do whatever you want, but this is the type of person to send the same text to five people at once and just have those five conversations going, which again, they can do what they want, but I just feel like Aquarius, if you're sitting here looking for something committed and you want something long-term and something exclusive, this person feels that way about you, but they're not doing that. Their actions and their intentions are like very different. It's like they wanna keep the attention on them. They wanna keep, they like it. And with that devil, 10 of wands, 10 of swords, 10, 10, like I said, that's like extreme. That's like the heavy energy. It's like this person's like addicted to that a little bit. Like they like the drama. They like the pain. They like the making it difficult. They like it when it's like, like easy and calm and chill and grounded is not what this person's used to. Yeah, look at that three of swords at the bottom. And the holistic psychologist talks a lot about this, about how... If we're used to chaos and drama and dysfunction and things ending and betrayal and lies and deception and whatever it might be, when something more stable, more more reliable, more grounded comes along, it almost feels boring. It almost feels like, oh, like where's the chaos? So it's almost like this person creates it a little bit. Ugh. What's the potential outcome? Knight of Cups. <laughs> Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands, trying to come in and romance you, saying they want to work on it, six, of pen six and Eight of Pentacles. This person could use money, could use gifts, could be very flashy. I feel like they, they'll they say they want to work on it. They'll, you're getting six, seven, eight here as well. Thank you, Spirit. So things are happening exactly as they're supposed to. They're going to come in. They're going to romance you. They're going to say they want this. They're going to do all the nice things, give you give you nice things maybe really try put in the effort but this seven of wands energy just feels like you being like no i'm good you being like i'm not here for the in and out i'm not one of tell me about that seven of wands oh we got the queen of wands and the magician yeah you know your power you know your worth I feel like you're, you know, there, there's other fish in the sea, but I feel like this person is sort of like fixated on you a little bit. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords. It's like when you're not giving this person the attention that they want, King of Pentacles, yeah, when you're not giving them what they want, which usually works, Aquarius, I feel like they get real nervous. They think about it a lot, their mind races, they're like, what's, 
what is Aquarius up to? What are they doing? Is there someone else? And they'll come in with this big energy of like this King of Pentacles energy. They might be very generous with their money, with, with their gifts, with their whatever it might be. They might offer to do a lot of things for you. But it's like, like I said, there's no cups on the board. There's no passion. It's not like this person is like a deep heartfelt person that sits down and is like, here's all my emotions or here's how I feel or like, here's why you, you know, I feel this like spark between us. It's like this person's like, they kind of just like having you around because you are this stable energy. I don't like that. Who is this person? How will Aquarius know? Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit. Someone who is a bachelor or a bachelorette. Someone who enjoys their singlehood. I'm seeing the Knight of Wands at the bottom. Hot and cold, here today, gone tomorrow. They could ghost, right? This could be someone who likes to ghost or will ghost. Look at that. Knight of Wands and Eight of Swords underneath that. I told you, this person's all up in their head. There's actually a lot of insecurity with this person, but you wouldn't know it on the outside. Anything else for who this person is? Could be a Virgo. Four of Swords, Five of Wands. I'm telling you, this, it's like this person likes drama. It's like they like tension. It's like they like people fighting after them. They like the competition. They like when you're competing for their attention or something like that. But they don't want you to have other options. Hmm. Any advice for the Aquarius? King of Wands, stand in your power. The Two of Cups. Interesting. We got the Tower, the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Chariot. You know what? I feel like there's something else coming in here, Aquarius. Unexpectedly, I feel like there's something else that's going to be a much stronger connection here that will give you that commitment. This person could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. They don't have to be, though. Somewhere you might meet, like, through a friend or out. I feel like your advice is stand your ground with this first person, but this feels like it could be something new here. Tell me about the Tower. Strength. Leo energy. The world, Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you. I feel like... You know what I'm also getting, though? I, because this person's intentions are Ace of Cups. I feel like if this is a cycle with this person or this person sounds familiar, this could be like a test, right? A kind of out-of-the-nowhere test from the universe where you're, you're meant to be strong through it and you're meant to, like, withhold their... Uh, t the temptation, I guess. The devil is there, right? That could be temptation. But I do feel like this, there's something new that could come along here as well that would be a lot stronger. Anything else about that Two of Cups? Knight of Wands? <laughs> I feel like it says, and the world. Yeah, you got to close out this cycle with this person. This person does feel like it could be a soulmate here. Like there's going to be a strong bond, but you got to close out this cycle. You got the world twice. I feel like as soon as you close out this cycle with this person not letting them into your energy, not giving them the time of day, being like, that's not what I want, protecting your energy, not, you know, and you might be like, I'm already doing that. Well, I feel like this person is going to come out of nowhere. It could feel really good. And then you're going to start to see signs that this person's not actually committed. And that's the test to be like, okay, well, that's not what I want. You know, which can sound easier said than done when I feel like this person is being very generous. There's just a, you got to close out this cycle with this, in and out person this hot and cold person because i feel like the new is there but it's not coming through strong enough to like it's like this has to happen first and i know that's not what we want to hear but that's how it's coming through to me aquarius so let's see any messages here for aquarius not today <laughs> boundaries and hurt avoiding conversation not dealing still upset i feel like that could also just you being like not today just heard not today satan like not today like i'm not doing this right so if you're already firm in your boundaries and this person comes along easy peasy you pass the test right um i'm seeing oh i thought this was something else at the bottom so yeah i feel like this is a test 
Grounding, stability and security, performance, growth, and endurance. Yeah, you're definitely, I just feel like you're, it's, it's a test. That's how, that's how it's coming through. The butterfly, evolving and growth, next phase, healing, inner child, releasing the past. Yeah. So even if you don't know who this person is, they could come in out of nowhere, and they, but they remind you of someone else. Maybe not fully, right? They could be better in a sense than a past energy, but they're still not giving us exactly what we want. That's how it kind of feels. We got twin flames, yin yang imbalance, union and duality, complement polar opposite. So this could be a twin flame coming back for those of you who feel like you're in a twin flame connection. Not all of us are, so only take it if it resonates. Um, let's see what we get here. We got official person and expectation. So this person, because they, they're coming out as a king of pentacles, could be some sort of official person in some way, expecting you to react a certain way. Um, especially if you've been in this cycle with this person already. Just be aware of that. Any messages for Aquarius? Thank you. I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. This person is not... is. They're a lot more empty on the inside than they appear on the outside, especially if they are like flashy, right? I feel like that's like a way of making up for what they feel they lack. We have, there are feelings of anger inside of me that I need to release before I explode. So this person could have anger issues, but also again, I just feel like again, the devil, the ten of swords, the ten of wands, this is someone who, who's like a, almost addicted to that heavier energy. I depend on you too much to let you go. I have codependency issues. So this could be them. It could be you, right? Could be the, the cycle that needs to be closed out. Um, take it as it resonates. I cannot support your actions. It's too much for me to deal with. I love you. Oh dear. I'm finally seeing my worth yet. I still feel unworthy of your love. I honestly feel like that could even be you here Aquarius wow there's a lot here but we're gonna read them I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering oh my gosh triggering my childhood traumas that has never happened all my cards just flew out here and fell um I'll get that after I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering my childhood trauma so this person like I said there's five of cups there they're ruminating a lot on the past um they could want to reconnect with you because they don't want to feel abandoned, right? I was afraid that you would reject me if I shared my feelings to you. So that's why this person doesn't show their feelings. I hide behind material things. I'm telling you, this person does. I regret lying to you. That's exactly what came through. Like they could have been deceptive in the past or told you that they only wanted to be friends or something like that or lied about another friend. Um, you speak to me through music and I am not available. So the... Yeah, this this person, <laughs> there's a lot here. We have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So you have persevered and you will continue to. Again, I feel like this is a test for like growth and expansion. And then we get growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, right? It's not always the best. We could argue this is not the best way to learn, but I feel like experience is the best teacher right and so these connections are always teaching us something a wise person knows they know nothing right like we're always learning um ask for help from others so to lean on others during this time especially if this person's like it feels like they are playing games a little bit we got take action in a year from now so of course when we see a year from now it's like well that's not really relevant right now and a year is so far away but a year actually goes by quite fast Right? Let me just pull a card on that. What is this a year from now? Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Something very passionate here. Two of Swords, but you might be uh, indecisive about it. Some sort of new project even. Anything else about a year from now? Nine of Cups, something very fulfilling. Almost like a wish come true here. Knight of Wands. There's going to be a... I feel like... You know what? And this might, this is, I don't usually do predictions for that far ahead, but it feels like this energy will continue to come back even a year from now. 
you might be like, no way, but I feel like there's a choice between continuing to entertain this individual, even if it is just like a hey, versus something new that will bring actually like a lot of fulfillment and a lot of joy. Because like I said, there's no real emotional connection with this first energy. We got look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius energy, which can be tricky to do, but Spirit's asking you to. And then we got breathe. Okay, they said one more. Thank you. And then we got come to the edge. Breathe, number 29, and come to the edge, number 36. So let's read these. Don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. So obviously take that as it resonates for you, Aquarius, but it just feels like, yeah, just being present in the here and now, um, not trying to rush anything, right? Especially if you are hoping for new and this other energy feels like, feels like someone you've already met or um, could be coming in and reminds you of someone else. It's like, yeah, th there's a, there's a reason for it. We have, it's scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow them to see all of you, especially the parts you've kept hidden and protected. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, and say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. So, Perhaps that's part of this closing this cycle out because codependency can be, you know, not voicing your needs, your desires, because yet it's just easier not to in some circumstances, right? So really putting yourself out there. This is what I want. This is what I need, especially when it comes to this person who it feels like they're non-committal, right? Um, but you opening up like that and then savoring the moment and not trying to rush anything, I feel like it just flows to you. Okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate with you though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got W, oops, H, O, M, D, U, X, and the number two. Okay, so I do hope something here resonates with you, Aquarius. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Sending so much love and light.